I'm Sarah, and I'm actually a practicing physician. If every drug were fast-tracked or allowed to be sorted out, how could a physician present a medication to a patient as being something that will help them and not harm them? Uh, Scott or Peter? I, 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 I would, Peter I, Huber. I, I'll, I'll tell you what the very best systems are out there today, to my knowledge, okay? Um, and they are the ones that have unfortunately not mainly during the FDA trials, but post-market, okay, accumulated huge databases of massive amounts of molecular data and clinical data. IBM is pioneering some of this work. Their HIV computers outperform doctors. You, you give a patient profile, the you know, route of entry, the, uh, what country you're in, these things, and, the, uh, and they, are, they are doing massive searches through very large amounts of molecular data, and, and they give you precision, custom-tailored, uh, the, the best possible prescriptions you can get. You get those prescriptions only when you've accumulated a lot of patient-specific data and a lot of clinical data. We should start doing that during the, the, the FDA clinical trials. We don't. The question presupposes. Um, this is just because the doctor, of the doctor's expertise, and then I'll come back to you, Scott. I just want, if the mic is still with you, does, yes. did, the, did the answer Peter give you actually, is it something that you can work with? Well, no. <laughs> Why? Because, um, Medications, I think, are prescribed, um, and I need to know, and my area is rheumatology, and there are a lot of wonderful, magnificent drugs that have come out in the past 10 years that have changed my patients' lives. But many of these drugs have very bad side effects or potential side effects. That you feel and, you wouldn't know about. And I wouldn't know about okay. that. All right, let me, let, me, let me then stop okay. you there and yeah, let Scott I, I, I Gottlieb the, come in. The question presupposes that we actually know a lot about the drugs that go through the full-blown uh, clinical trials versus the ones that go through the, the accelerated approval. And I would say that we don't. There's a lot that we don't know. And to, to, pick, on, to pick up on your field, what do you think would happen if we did randomized every NSAID on the market to placebo and did a 10-year cardiovascular outcome study? Do you think that some of those NSAIDs would show the same cardiovascular risk that was shown with the Vioxx, which Dr. Avon talked about? I suspect that they would. We don't know about the latent cardiovascular risk with most drugs on the market because we haven't looked for it, and we never will because it's impractical and impossible to do that study. So the advice I give patients and take for myself is if I'm taking a drug, I make sure I really need it. <laughs> 